good afternoon today we will learn about swinging circle swinging circle is the radius around which your ship will be swinging when she is at anchor so give giving an allowance of half a cable for the error in calculation if the ship is outside a swinging circle that means your anchor is dragging we have to be aware of certain figures for calculating a swinging circle first is one shackle is 27.5 meters one nautical mile is 1852 meters and there will be marking on your bridge wing telling you the distance from your ship's bridge to the forward and to the aft normally that figure will be good enough because the gps antennas are normally placed on the main mast of course if the gps antenna is placed somewhere else all the calculation should be made from the gps antenna to the forward first thing when you are about to drop an anchor you should always take the heading of the ship when she let go anchor also this is an important part because if you are sailing in a 250 or 300 meter ship it's already around 1 1 and a half cables so your compass your uh, swinging circle will be calculated wrong the basic calculation is very simple you take the length of the ship from the gps to the anchor cable then the no anchor paid out and you calculate it and convert it into nautical miles but before you do that always remember the gps is situated not at the forward of the ship of course there are ships that have gps at the forward with the bridge being at the forward so i'm basing basically speaking about a conventional ship so before you calculate the swinging circle let's first calculate how to convert the gps position to the forward of the ship for that once you let go your anchor take the ship's heading suppose it is 045 then if your ship is 280 meters long with the gps antenna situated at 250 meters just convert the 250 meters into nautical miles that is divided it by 1852 so it's nearly 1.34 cable 1.34 mi- miles point 1.134 miles that is one nearly one and a half cables take your compass with the heading cut that position on your chart so this will be the point from where you have to start calculating your swinging circle i hope you understood what it was after that the calculation is simple again even if your ship's gps is here once you are swinging the gps position will be here so we have to calculate again with the same ship gps distance so imagine the marking shows you as 250 meters from bridge to the anchor position let us pay thing we paid out 5 shackles on deck so the calculation will be 250 meters the calculation will be 250 meters plus your ships shackles in meters and say it is 5 into 27.5 is 250 plus 138 divide by 1852 
will give you zero point two zero nine that is zero point two one zero point two one nautical miles will be your swinging circle so I believe you understood how it is done once you drop your anchor take the heading convert your ship's distance from the GPS to the anchor position into nautical miles cut it on your course I mean the heading from there you draw your swinging circle so the swinging circle is 0.21 nautical mile so you take 0.21 nautical mile on your compass measure it on the chart and draw a circle so the circle will be 0.21 nautical miles it even if we give a leeway of around half a cable for error due to calculation this will be the maximum your ship can come out unless she is dragging so make it as 0 0.25 for the safe side so you keep a 0 0.25 distance on your GPS or on the chart you will be able to find out if the ship is tracking another way to do it is as soon as the ship's anchor is let go when the anchor is let go at that exact moment press the MOB marker on GPS after that you should do it exactly at the moment that anger is let go then you press the MOB then go to MOB use this function the ship GPS will be giving you a swinging circle so if you have already calculated the swinging circle the go to MOB point will never exceed the figure that we reached I hope you understood how a swinging circle is calculated